Hello everyone. A while back I promised that I'd make a more extensive video on my whole home audio system setup, as it was a topic that interested quite a few of you. Well, in this video that will be the primary area of focus. I will start off by quickly demonstrating the system. Next, I will quickly go over the system itself and how it is configured. And I will also cover at this point in time how to stream content to it. Lastly, I will end off the video by listing some products available on the market in case you want to set up your own whole home audio system. So without much more to say, let me start off with the demonstration. The sound isn't coming from the computer, it's coming from the speakers in my ceiling. So you get the idea, I can't really play more than snippets of songs due to copyright reasons. The particular setup I'm using is a 4 zone, 4 source system. This means that the system can deliver audio to 4 different areas of the house. Furthermore, 4 source means that my receiver can accept 4 different sources for audio. As a result, in each of the 4 rooms I can have something different playing. The control on the wall allows me to select the source to utilize for a particular zone. It also allows me to adjust the volume. A limitation with my current system is the fact that at each source, it only supports two speakers. However, I think that the sound they produce is adequate for my needs. Here's a close-up of the wall panel. Basically, speaker cable and ethernet run to this wall panel from my basement, where the receiver is located. Next, Additional speaker wires go from the panel to the speakers in the ceiling. Because of the extensive nature of wiring involved, I would highly recommend that you decide whether you wish to install such a system during the framing stages of development of your house. It can be hard if not impossible afterwards to fish all the necessary wires through the wall. Next I'll take you to the receiver in the basement. This is the location of the input sources. So here's what powers a whole home audio system. The receiver for the home whole audio is a box on the top. Underneath is my home theater receiver. All the cables go into the four zones connected to the receiver. To my knowledge, the receiver takes ethernet cable and speaker wire, which must go to each zone. The blue bundle on the right side of the screen are the cables from the receiver going up to each zone. From this viewpoint, you can better see the cables connected to the receiver. As I mentioned before, there are four Ethernet cables going to each zone of the house. Moreover, on the right hand side, you can see the cables which power the wall control panels as well as the ceiling speakers. The thick white and red cable in the middle is connected to my Airport Express. This is an input source and allows me to stream audio from my AirPlay enabled devices to the whole home audio system. So yeah, that's it for the connections needed. Most of the systems come with schematics of cabling needed for proper setup, so I'd read the manual if I buy one of these systems. To stream content over AirPlay that is not compatible with iTunes, I use an application called Airfoil. Airfoil allows you to stream content directly from your web browser or other sources. Furthermore, Airfoil exists for both Windows as well as OS X. To select Chrome as my source for audio input, I simply select the application from the drop-down. Once that's done, you'll be asked to restart your browser so that Airfoil can hijack the audio. So I'm just going to press quit and relaunch at this point in time. So now I just selected my Airport Express as well as my computer for sound output. In turn. Airfoil will send the sound to my computer speakers as well as to my Airport Express. And yeah, that's all there really is to using Airfoil. 
A lot of you have been asking me for recommendations on what home hole audio system to choose. Now, this is a really tricky question because you all probably have different zone requirements and may also have different expectations. However, two companies I really recommend you check out are Nuvo and Home Theater Direct. When I was building my system, these were the two companies that I was really leaning towards. Now, Nuvo is the more expensive option. However, they also offer a wireless system, which may be a better option for those of you who are not building a new home. With the wireless system, the receiver communicates with the wall control panel in a wireless manner, so that cabling does not need to be run from the basement to wherever else. If you click on any receiver on Nuvo's site, the wall control panel and other accessories that are compatible with the product are usually listed below. This makes it easier to find the appropriate items for your home hole audio system. As you can see on the screen, there's a lot of options to choose from. In addition to Nuvo, another whole house media manufacturer is Home Theater Direct. HTD provides reasonably priced packages which include the wall control panels and some other items that are needed. I believe you just need to purchase the speakers as well as the cables separately and you're good to go. I hope this video provided a good starting point for those of you who are looking into building a whole home audio system setup. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Additionally, Feel free to share this video and like it if you enjoyed the content. Thank you for all your support.